everybody? This is Steven with Steve Snake Sanctuary. Today is May 22nd of 2014. We've got an interesting snake I want to show off today. This is uh, this is one my friend my friend got a hold of for me. And uh, this is an eastern hognose snake. And we're going to try to get it to do its little thing. Let's see if we can get it to do its little thing. Now one really cool thing about eastern hognose, a lot of people get these confused with water moccasins, copperheads, and things like that. And then a lot of people... I don't know if we'll be able to get it to do this little thing or not. A lot of people actually think that they have a cobra in their front yard because what they do, uh, he's probably not going to cooperate with me. Oh, oh, he's doing it. Look at him, he's flattening his head out. You hear him hissing? Oh, and oh, he's kind of doing it. You see how he's flattening his neck out? You see that? Look at him. You hear him puffing up? You see how he's flattening his head out? A lot of people think, oh my God, I got a cobra in my front yard. Now look, we live in Louisiana, and a lot of people, we don't have cobras in Louisiana, but a lot of people think, oh my God, I got a cobra in my front yard. Oh my God, he's puffing up. These things will puff up like a cobra. Look at him flattening his neck out. Oh, let's see. Oh, come on, work with me, dude. Well, I'm going to talk about it anyway. I'm going to try to keep playing with it, see if I can get it to do what it normally does. But another cool thing about these things, this is an eastern hognose snake. And I've had, uh, I've had a couple of them. I've had one that was really dark, almost like a, like a yellow belly water snake color, like a real dark green, brown, real dark greenish brownish, almost like this, this color here. And uh, all over, though, it didn't have any kind of patterns on it. And, uh, and then I had another one. A friend caught about an hour and a half away, almost two hours away from here, and uh, it was real bright orange and pink and really colorful. And so these eastern hognose snakes come in a whole bunch of different colors. And uh, but like I said, they puff up their neck just like a cobra, and they'll stand up and their neck gets real flat and everything. And a lot of people think, oh my gosh, I've got a cobra in my front yard, and they end up killing it because they think they have a cobra, and that's really that's really horrible, really horrible thing to do. Another really cool thing to do with this. He's kind of calming down a lot now. Another really cool thing about hog noses if, is a lot of times, if they puff up their neck and they hiss at you, and that still doesn't stop, and you still, their predators, you know, if they do this for a defense mechanism, if their predators still come after them, one thing that they do is they roll over on their backs. They roll over on their backs and they stick their tongue out and they play dead. And they're really cool when they do that. And then you could sit there for a few minutes if you quit bothering it after a few minutes, it'll roll right back over and slither off. But if you keep messing after it rolls over and it's playing dead, it's got its tongue sticking out, and you still mess with it, it'll defecate itself. That's right, it'll poop on itself. And they, they have so many crazy defense mechanisms. They're really awesome snakes, really awesome snakes. And they're really fun to play with. And no, another cool thing about these guys is they eat frogs and toads. It's really hard to get these guys to switch over to eat. You know, if you, if you find one, you know, it's really hard to get it to, to uh, switch over to mice and rodents, you know, little rats and things, and uh, because they eat frogs and toads. Frogs and toads and minnows and things, that's their natural diet. And, uh, but they're really cool. So, like I said, first of all, they puff up their necks and they hiss. We saw it kind of doing that earlier, and they act like a cobra. And then if you keep messing with them, a lot of times they'll roll over and play dead. And then, if you keep messing with them while they're rolled over and play dead, they poop on themselves to try to scare you away. And then, uh, but then if you, after a few minutes, they'll roll right back over, and then they'll slither on off. And then, uh, I'll tell you another really cool thing about these guys. Now, these guys are, they do have a mild toxin. They do have small fangs in the back. Now, they, and they are, they do have a small venom, but that's usually to kill the toads and the frogs and things that they catch. And I have, I have heard stories, a lot of times, let me say this first. A lot of times they get, if they do strike at you, most of the times when they strike at you, they don't even open their mouths. Isn't that, cr isn't that crazy? They do that just to try to scare you off. And uh, are you going to play with me? Are you going to play? I see you looking at me, buddy. Yeah, you're cool. And, uh, but they, like I said, they do have a mild toxin. And uh, there have been reports of people getting bit and having an allergic reaction to them and actually getting a little sick off of it. But, that, but these are not considered venomous snakes. These are not, I, let me say that again, these are not considered venomous snakes. Although they do, like I said, they do have a mild toxin. 
Now, let me show you the face of it. This is why they're called hog nose. You see the nose? Check out the nose. It's turned up just like a hog. That is so cool. But these snakes are amazing. God, is, God has created some awesome, awesome animals. And uh, just this is just one example of the awesome animals. I wish I had several of them to show you all the different colors they can come in. But uh, a hog nose snake. It's got his nose turned up just like a hog. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. And for them to act like a cobra, that is cool. And then to play dead, these are just awesome. God created something very amazing with these snakes. And all these snakes are different, you know? And uh, But this is a hognose snake. This is an eastern hognose snake. And like I said, we live in Louisiana. And uh, I've only, this is the third one I've ever seen. The third one I've ever seen in the wild. And... Uh, and, you know, oh, let me explain this to you. You know, I mentioned that the eastern hognose, what we have here in Louisiana is uh, they eat frogs and toads, minnows, things like that. Now, the western hognose, we don't have those here. We don't have the western hognose here. But the western hognose actually eat mice and rats. These dudes don't. These dudes eat eat frogs and toads and things like that. So, but uh, I wish, you know, we got it to hiss a little bit. We got it to puff up just a little bit. Amazing, amazing defense mechanism on these guys. And like I said, I wish I could have gotten it to play dead, you know, roll over and do that little thing, because that would have been really cool. But again, this is Stephen with Steve, Steve Snake Sanctuary, and we are showing off an eastern hognose snake. This is a, one of God's amazing creations. And again, let's get a close-up on that nose. Let me turn this little dude around. Check out that nose. That little hog nose, a little turn up. Let's look at the side view. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. That is so awesome. But like I said, again, this is Stephen with Steve Snake Sanctuary showing off an eastern hognose snake. And we'll see you guys next time.